Hello everyone, welcome to the Eunice Telly channel. Thank you for being here. Today, we're gonna to take a few moments together to talk about something really important when it comes to focusing. For those of you lucky enough to own one of these, you already know how easy it is to set up. In just a few minutes, you can see galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters. However, the first observations you make with your EV scope may not be the best image quality possible. It will probably already be pretty good, but there's still one or two things that you might wanna check. And today, we're gonna to talk about the first one, the Batinoff mask. Let's do it! So, what's this video about? Focus. Yeah, the objects you observe can have great luminosity, nice colors, you can zoom in, but if your image is blurry, of course you won't get any of the nice details. So, how do you get a better focus? Well, you can use the Batinoff mask named after the Russian astronomer Pavel Batinov. This mask is really easy to use and will allow you to verify that your focus is better. To find it, well, it's easy. It's located inside the lens top cover. You take the top cover and you twist it anti-clockwise. As you can see, it consists of three different grills on three different angles. So, how do we use it? Firstly, you need a clear sky, allowing you to see lots of different stars. Then you're going to lower your EV scope using the in-app joystick located in the EV scope icon on the right of the screen. Touch the move button to display the joystick and slide down the gray circle. When you see stars through the eyepiece or on your smartphone screen, you can touch this button. It's the option that activates the EV scope's orientation. To use the Batinoff mask, it's essential that you have the sky tracking activated. For more information, you can watch or rewatch the first video, how to set up your EV scope. Once the sky tracking is activated, we need to find a bright star. Let's open the catalog by clicking on the icon with the book. Here you can find multiple bright stars. You can sort the closest by proximity in the sort window. You just need to hit the go to button and let the EV scope do its thing. Okay. It's done. The EV scope is locked on a bright star. You may need to recenter the star using your in app joystick. It'll help you a lot if it's really centered. To do that, don't forget to activate slow mode first. Otherwise, your EV scope will move too fast. Now we can get to work. You can put the Batinoff mask on the top of your EV scope just like you do with the top cover. Make sure the Batinoff mask is nice and stable and we're good to go. The direction of the grills doesn't matter at all. They're horizontal, vertical, it changes nothing. So now what's happening? Well, let's look through the eyepiece or on our screen. We can see that the starlight coming through the mask creates a cross pattern, including a line that could be centered in the middle, on the left or on the right. In this image, you can see that the cross is really vertical. This is because we put the mask with the grills in a vertical orientation. Depending on the position of the mask, you'll see the cross like this or like that. Once again, it doesn't matter. The goal here is to make sure we have the line perfectly centered in the middle. For the focus to be perfect, the line needs to pass through the center of the cross. If that's already the case, great. You you don't need to do anything. You can already take the mask off. But if the line is not centered, if it's on the left or on the right, you're gonna have to move it to recenter it. Let's do a very important little thing that will make our job much easier. Go to the observation settings by clicking on the edit button on the bottom of the screen. The settings window will appear with the possibility of modifying the gain and exposure time when you're in live view mode. In order for us to use the Batinoff mask, it's important to set the gain and exposure time to auto by activating the little switch right here. If the gain or exposure time is set incorrectly, we will have too much or not enough light which will prevent it from working. Once it's done, we can move the line. So, how do you do that? We're gonna use the focus wheel located on the back of your EV scope, this one. You're just gonna to need to turn the wheel to make the line move left or right. Once the line is perfectly centered, your focus is great. You can now remove the mask, storing it in the top cover and turning it clockwise. See, it's really not complicated at all. Now, one important thing. This little manipulation needs to be done quite often. If you wanna make sure you have the best focus, we recommend that you do this at the beginning of each observation. And I should also mention, if the outside temperature changes, you're gonna to have to do this manipulation multiple times during the observation. Yeah, the outside temperature really affects the focus. The warmer the temperature, the more the aluminum dilates. Or the colder it is, the more the aluminum will contract. And that changes 
is the distance between the mirror and the sensor. The difference is minuscule, but it's enough to change the focus. During your observations, if the temperature changes, don't hesitate to adjust your focus. Et voila, it's done. We really hope you enjoy this video and hopefully things are clearer for you and your EV scope. Before we go, one last very important thing. The Badenoff mask is not the only way to have the best focus. There is one other thing you need to verify, the mirror alignment, also called the collimation. And you can also use the focus helper located in the eyepiece. And the very last thing will be to take a dark frame to get rid of the hot pixels. The hot pixels are the red, green or blue pixels that sometimes appear on your image. All these steps are really important to make sure you get the best image quality possible. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, you can give a thumbs up. If you'd like more videos like this, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. And of course, you can share this video on all the socials to impress your friends. Thank you very, very much from Unistella and we'll see you soon.